have another exciting episode of Thrift Store Find. This week on Thrift Store Find, we have three of something. And so the lady at the thrift store, you know, she kind of kind of got them off the shelf behind her. Those things right there. I want to see those things. Those things. You have no idea what those things are, but I want to see those things. And so she got them down off the shelf. So I, I went ahead and transact commerce and got all three of these for 15 bucks. Very exciting. Um, I'm going to show you one of them. And there's three of them. Like I say, here's one of them right here. And you can see the price tag, 15 bucks. But like I say, these were 75% off. So I got them for five bucks. But this is, this is what we got. There's one of them here. Um, very cool. And like I say, there's three of them. So there was another one here. So there's two and then three. There we go, three of them. Now, if you know what these things are, go ahead and pause the video and leave a comment down below. And then we're gonna have part two in one year's time. This electric car, through an intricate network of wiring installations, provides lighting and power for a variety of requirements. We'll go ahead and continue. What these are is these are insulators. These are what you're going to see at the top of every single power pole. Why is there three? Three is very significant because three phase power. And that is a very efficient way to transport power. Now, these particular ones here are older. These ones are probably from the 50s or 60s, maybe the 70s. Um, but these ones have, were, were eventually phased out. But basically what happens is this sits on the power pole there. As you can see, it sits on the power pole. And in this groove here, you're going to have the wire going across across this groove because you don't want the wire to contact the foam pole in any way and glass is a really really good insulator now these are for distribution lines now there's three different kinds of lines there's transmission lines which are the giant giant towers that are langolier towers if you will and then there's the supply lines which are lower voltage than the transmission lines but higher voltage uh, than the distribution lines and then there's the distribution lines 90 percent of all the lines you see like in the alley and most uh, city streets are distribution lines so those are 13,000 volt lines. There is such a distance between this and the foam pole that's going to insulate that 13,000 volts. Now, something that's curious about electricity is it's always trying to find ground. And that's why a, a lightning strike, it's, it's charge in the atmosphere that needs to get to the ground. This keeps that 13,000 volt line from touching the foam pole, which of course will conduct electricity. If you wouldn't, if you didn't have these on the distribution line, you'd be walking through the alley, touch a foam pole, and you get electrocuted. So these things are very, uh, very important. Now you can always tell if you have a distribution, a supply, or a transmission line by the distance of the three wires. Now the distribution lines, uh, the wires are pretty close. Now a supply line, which is normally about 70 to 105,000 volts are usually separated quite a bit more. You'll see, uh, you'll see a T section like this is very common. And also these insulators are much bigger. They're usually about twice as long or maybe three times as long because the thing about voltage is the closer the wires are together, they'll eventually arc. So if you end up with a 70,000 volt line, you need to separate those three phases. You need to separate, so the distance needs to be more. Now the transmission lines, like you see the big Langolier towers, those are usually on the outskirts. Those are usually out in the country somewhere, and those range anywhere from 220 all the way up to 765K, or 765,000 volts. So you'll see those wires on those towers, and they're, they're probably about eight or nine, maybe 10 feet apart, just because if they were any closer than that, they would arc. But with distribution lines, like everyday distribution lines, like you see in the alleys and the streets, those are fairly close together, just because there's only 13,000 volts going through there, but you do still need to separate those out. Those, those will feed into the transformers, which are the big gray trash can things, and that brings it down to 110 or, or 120 volts or whatever, whatever the voltage regulation is for your house, depending on where you live. In India, India is the most populous country in the world as far as the density of the population and they're trying to basically upgrade the, the uh, electrical grid there in that country. And they're actually gonna have transmission lines that are 1200K or 1 1.2 million volts. So that's, they're gonna be uh, the highest voltage in the world. So very exciting, pretty cool stuff. So, you know, us here in the United States, our, our power grid's a little bit outdated. As far as the transmission lines, those are a little bit more up to date, but mainly uh, our, our, our power grid is mainly the distribution side of it is, is really, really uh, uh, 
a little outdated. The supply lines are a little outdated in certain sections also. Um, always remember if you see a power line laying on the floor <laughs> or on the carpet or on the ground, don't touch it. Call the power company is very important. Uh, electrical safety is of utmost importance because here's the thing, and you touch a, a supply line, which is 70,000 volts, you, you know, unless you're standing on a big heap of rubber, you're going to get more than likely incinerated or, or electrocuted and whatnot. So, um, yeah, check it out. Here we go. This is the thrift store find for this week. We have some distribution line insulators. Check them out. I don't know. I'm probably going to put these on my mantle. Uh, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty cool. Like I say, there's three of them here. You got to have three of them. Three phase power represented. Three phase power is in the house here. Uh, there you go. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and take a picture with them. We'll get a thumbnail going. So that concludes this week's thrift store find. We have uh, distribute line insulators. Very cool, uh, very unique, and these are classic little things. I have a couple of trivia questions here. So the first trivia question, what is the largest machine ever built in the United States? And the second question is, of the electrical grid, what percentage of that power or energy goes to waste? I hope you enjoyed Thrift Store Fine. I hope you enjoyed the trivia. Be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Or tell a friend about the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know uh, if you can answer those trivia questions. Keep tuning in because we have many more things coming up on Thrift Store Find. Please subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss out. All right, Growhead signing out. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now.